All right. Welcome to Better Basketball Minds, where we teach athletes the connection between their mind and performance. We're here with Curtis all the way from Montana, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what were some of the problems that you noticed um, with your son before you worked with me? What were some of the problems that you noticed? Um, probably the biggest thing is it was his, his, um, his body uh, really a little bit unsure where he should be shooting from where he left off before he got in, injured. Okay. Um, well, I was a while there before I got hooked up with you guys. It was it was pretty rickety, so to speak. It was it was real tight. Okay. Um, uh, I want to use the word tight, but there's a better word out there. You know, just not real loose. Just not thinking about it. Yeah, not relaxed. Not thinking about it. Probably maybe too much. You know, after a after a uh, surgery like this, you know, they they say the biggest part of it is is the mental aspect of it right um and i knew physically it was there but mentally i wasn't so i wasn't so sure you know right. we don't know that until he starts shooting of course and uh and whatnot so so what was some of parker's uh skepticisms or apprehensions about um working with me <laughs> He says, I've read about this stuff. I, I, I've read about these, these uh, it's just a mental toughness thing. I don't need that. I, I don't even know this guy. I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. Yeah, you know, you know so, but then afterwards, I mean, I mean he just, he's never said anything negative. At Nothing all. at all. And he would. I mean, if he thought this was not legit, he would. The last two sessions, he was, he was ready to roll. He was down in his bed, ready to start talking. So the biggest thing I've, would say would be he is, he is more relaxed and more confident with his shot so i the last time i re really hit it hard he was he was on he was on his shot yeah i mean that's it was probably the best i've seen him since he got hurt right right so, um he's it, you know it, it, i could see it that change okay. I, I i did so. <laughs> and honestly um before you started working with me how confident were you that I was able that I would be able to work with your son to make him more confident in a shot scale from one to ten? How confident were you? I, I would say, you know, eight to nine. You know, okay, I was pretty because I was a player and I know what 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 it means. Your head your head can play games with you, um, and I never had an injury like him. So you compound that on top of it and. And I think you just needed to talk somebody like yourself, um, you know, an athlete like yourself and uh, the credentials that you have. I was pretty confident about it. So you did. I was the skeptic. She was oh, a little skeptic. you were the skeptic. Was, well, of course, I didn't talk to you. I didn't know anything. He told me what he was doing, and I'm going, what? You know, no Parker. He's not going to be up for this right away. But, you know, as we went through it and I, I agreed to it, and, and then he told me about your background and who you were and what you've done and da-da-da, you know, then I was like, okay, let's give it a try. And then, like I said, after Parker's been visiting with you, I just see a change overall in his, I, I just, I think it's his confidence level and his, his attitude right. is more, more positive, you know? Yeah. Like, he doesn't overthink things and he doesn't get down on himself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, like I told you, did you play better than you thought you would play? Yeah, I did. So did my parents. What'd they say? They said I don't even look like the same. I, it was just way different than when I played before. Like, cause I, that's my first, that was my first game in like a year since my ACL, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, they just noticed a huge difference. They did? Yeah, so did I. It was yeah. awesome.